As most of us know, store picks are better than the regular version on the shelf. But how does it really compare to a distiller select version? We're going to find out. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. I am that modern Norseman. Today, let's talk about store picks. Whether or not they, they are just as good as a distiller select. Um, are they really better than what you find on the shelf? Anyway, today we're going to talk about this Knob Creek 9 year that's 120 proof. Picked by a local store here, Northside Liquor in Poto, Poto, Oklahoma. Um, I've enjoyed all their picks. Uh, I have some other picks as well that I can compare it to later on. If y'all want to see that, let me know. But anyway, we're going to discuss this one. And we're also going to find out how does it compare to the Distiller Select. Uh, this one is slightly older, almost 10 years old. This one is your typical 9-year, 120 proof. So we'll pour it up a little bit. America. And for me the store picks if you find a store pick that you know especially a store that you really like have good history with um typically you can't go wrong with those uh, a lot of times they're just going to be better than regular shelfers so i always give the advice of if, if you have the store pick you got the regular take the store pick um but we're actually going to compare it to a distiller select today. But first, we'll talk about this one. Some vanilla, some brown sugar. I remember when I first opened this, it was a little warm. Drank a little hotter than 120. A little sharp. Um, but I wanted to give it a fair shake. I went back to it a little later after it's had some air. Um, and it definitely changed. Now, did it get better or did it get worse? Your typical Knob Creek, vanilla, brown sugar. I'm getting some caramel and some, some oak there. Uh, a little bit of cinnamon. Nothing real spicy, not spice heavy. Not oak forward. Fairly sweet. We're going for a sip, skull. Definitely more balanced now. Um, I say it drinks slightly under that 120, not too much. It's right there in the pocket. Um, again, you're getting your, your vanillas, your caramel, your brown sugars. There is some spice there to balance that out. Um, oak is present all the way through. Not too oak forward, not bitter, not tannic. Uh, not drying. Medium finish. It's kind of hanging in there, maybe medium to long. That sweet wood spice kind of hanging in there. It's definitely gotten better with some air for sure at first it wasn't it wasn't that it was bad it was just hot um, and just needed some air to kind of round out that palate we're going for another sip skull Actually, I get a little bit of red fruit. Kind of chew on that air a little bit. 
chew on that finish. Get a little bit of red fruit on the back end there. Some cranberry, some raspberry. It's a good pour. It's a good bottle, good buy. You can typically find your store picks, uh, especially the Knob Creeks. You know, anywhere from that sixty to seventy dollar range. But good pour, caramels, vanillas, uh, brown sugars, a uh, little bit of spice there, just enough to cut through that sweetness. Uh, oak all the way present, not drying, not bitter, not tannic. Um, good, good mouth coating, not overly oily, not overly complex, nothing like that. Just a really, really good pour, really, really good barrel pick. Now, distiller select. Okay, we'll get this one poured up. America. And we'll give you, while we let this one coat the glass a little bit, we'll give you a close up of the bottles. This is the North Side Pick Impoto. Poto, Oklahoma. Store owner Pat, awesome, awesome person. They do really, really good picks. And here is the Distiller Select Seen them one, you seen them all. I mean, obviously the warehouse, floor, rig, all that'll be a little bit different, but again, just your regular old Knob Creek distiller. So let's compare the nose. Okay, so they're very, very similar. Really close on the nose. This one may be a touch sweeter on the nose. This one has a little bit more oak on the nose. All right, we're going for a sip on the Distiller Select Skull. Now on the distiller select, I don't get as much vanilla. I, I'm getting the caramel, I'm getting the brown sugar. I'm getting a little bit more red fruit though than I do on the uh, north side pick. Uh, the, the oak is back there, but it's not as present as it is in the north side pick. Mouth coating about the same, finish about the same. They're really close. It's a good pick. They're really, they're really close. One more sip of the distiller select, and then I'll do an AB. Definitely, I'm getting more red, red fruit on it. I, it's kind of weird. It's kind of throwing me for a loop. I don't know if I've ever really gotten red fruit on Knob Creek. So I don't know if it's my palate today or not, uh, but they are very, very close. Both very, very good. Um, I'd say this one drinks a little bit lower in proof than this one as well. Um, but I would have guessed this one being, I think this one's slightly older. Um, yeah, it, it would be a little bit, a little bit more oak influence than the North side, but for me today, it does not. Um, so pick your poison there. Is it drastically different? No, it's not. Um, again, both very, very good. Let's have a little sip 
of the north side skull. Okay. Has a little bit more spice to it. A little bit more oak spice. Which kind of reminds me of that cinnamon. Um, that might be a little bit better balanced, actually. Let's see. Here's the distiller select. Skull. Now on the distiller select, you'll get all that sweetness up front. Then some of that spice comes in as opposed to the north side. The north side pick, you're pretty much getting everything you know that you're going to get all at once and it just stays now there'll be certain points as it as it rolls back to the back part of the palette some things will be highlighted more but i think the balance of this one is there all the way through this one the distiller select tends to just come in stages the sweetness, the spice, and then the, the back end of that mid palette. Here comes that oak into the finish, carrying that spice. But the north side seems to have that spice and that oak balanced all the way through. So I would say this is probably a little bit better, better balanced for me, in my opinion. Um, but they are really, really close. So, you know, it's those store picks. You know, they can be right up there with, you know, your distiller select versions. Um, I'll, you know, again, if you're not familiar with the store and their store picks, I always say roll the dice on the store pick. If you have the option of a regular version or a store pick, grab it. It's not like the old days where you had these VHS uh, blockbuster movie videos and the staff is just picking a movie of the week. I know a lot of people are not familiar with whiskey. That's the first thing that comes to mind is that the staff is just picking something for that week, which is not the case at all. They're actually picking these barrels and they're buying the whole barrel for themselves. Um, so in my experience, the store picks have always been better. And I won't say always. Most of the time, 98% of the time, the store picks are typically better than the regular um, shelfer version of the, uh, the whiskey itself. But again, like I said, here it is. Really, really close. Um, just depends on what you prefer. Both very good and really close. Um, it's, it's, for me, negligible. You know, just depends on what you're looking for. So I'll blend these. See if it makes a difference. Probably not a whole lot. We'll give her a good SJ, as Matt over at ADH Whiskey would say. Nice little spin job. Get them to marinate a little bit. Actually sweeter on the nose. I might have to do a 50. <laughs> if it turns out good, I might have to do a bottle of a 50-50 on the north side and the distiller select. Skull. Okay, the red fruit, like raspberry or strawberry, yeah, raspberry, like a raspberry tart. Uh, it's more prevalent now. Um, it does feel a bit richer on the palate. Um, that balance is still there, still really good balance too, between the sweet and the spice. Um, oak seems to carry all the way through might actually be you know I actually have to make a 375 of a 50 50 blend of that and let it sit for a while see what it turns into 
But like I said, this one's Poto, Oklahoma, Northside Liquor. They always do really, really good picks. Um, I also have a Sodi's pick. It's a local store as well. Oh, the Knob Creek 9120. If y'all like to see that comparison, which, you know, both stores have always liked their picks. So it'd be tough for me to decide. Uh, but it's a battle that I could do. So anyway, thanks for hanging out. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Love y'all. Skull.